Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's a good one. It's a clean beauty vid with Victoria Beckham Beauty and La Bouche Rouge. I have three uh, Victoria Beckham Beauty eyeshadow sticks to get into and I've got some definitive opinions on them. Um, this is take two of this video actually and I'll explain all that inside. I have a new perfume and uh, a lip product to talk about with you from La Bouche Rouge. I'm gonna be pulling a look together and of course I'm going to be swatching for you guys and we're gonna do a comparison swatch for one of the products as well, okay? So if you wanna see how this face came together with this super cute thing is on my head, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before I jump into this video, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I'm rocking our Graphite Boho Head Wrap, a color that is just so unique. I absolutely love it. It's like a bluish gray, a grayish blue. It's just a beautiful, unique, unique color. Long piece of stretchy fabric, fashion it into any style you want. Dress them up, dress them down. Wear them to work out, uh, hang out, go out on you know date night run errands, sit in your house, whatever you've got going on, okay? So if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, and we've got many, just visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. Okay guys, so take two with this video, okay? I originally shot this a couple of weeks ago and I was not happy with the performance of the Victoria Beckham Beauty eyeshadow sticks. I was shocked. This is the first time in the years that it's been out that there wasn't a product I didn't instantly enjoy and it didn't work well. And I felt like they were drying and I just was not, I was not, one of them particularly was drying. I just wasn't completely wowed. And after I shot the video, I was like, dang, that's a shame. This is so weird. Cause I'm so used to most things working on my skin. So I was like, this is really strange. So one day I had, I was going somewhere, but I didn't want to wear, like a lot of makeup, so I had my just my skincare on. And I was like, let me try this stick out uh, with um, skincare on. And it just performed differently when my lids were super duper hydrated. And um, so I was like, this is okay. This is not looking like what I experienced in the video. So let me give it another go. So this is my effort to give it another go. And we'll see how it goes. Now I'm not shooting this as soon as I put my skincare on. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see how they perform. But I have three of them, okay? I have, and we're gonna talk about some other things too, some other thoughts I have. I have, which one is this? I have Caramel. I have Trench, which was the troublemaker the first go round. And I have Pecan. So I kept it really, really neutral. These are just my colors. So we're gonna get to these in a second. I also have a new to me lip balm from La Bouche Rouge we're going to end it with. But first up, let's talk about this new La Bouche Rouge perfume. So I did do a video a few weeks back. I was gifted the, the, the like I said, the manifest set by the brand. So I broke down each one of the five cents that I had experienced over like the course of a week. I was trying them out and then I shot the video. So I ended up choosing first the rose one. And I say first because this is not going to be the last one. I actually came to love all five, genuinely, honestly, all five. So it comes in this glass bottle. You can see it here. The liquid is crystal clear, okay? So it comes in this glass bottle. And because I chose rose, the, the leather is also the color of the, uh, of the, the name. So there are five, there's rose, uh, blue, amber, red, and what's escaping me right now? Nude, okay? So whichever one you choose, that'll be the color, color of the leather. So this is a light rose leather and it's beautiful. It has the brand's uh, stitching here that we know. I have another product here, stitching on the back that they're known for their leather. Okay, so I'm not going to go over everything I discussed in the sample set video because it was a lot. I was very detailed. I gave you all the information, but I did want to repeat that this is the world's first upcycled refillable uh, perfume collection. So when you're finished with a bottle of it, you can purchase a refill from now on that'll be housed in an aluminum, in aluminum packaging and then you just put it back into your bottle and you don't have to buy these over and over again, okay? So, and it is 
it is cheaper to buy uh, the refill than the the whole thing, the initial the initial one with the whole thing in it. Okay, so that's just something to consider. The cap is really really cool. It's it's a uh, like they say it's uh, it's innovative. Um, it's a metal cap. Okay, and then inside is cork. Okay, so they're trying to be as sustainable as possible with this launch. I love the cork. Stays on there nice and tight. This is what the cap looks like okay made of aluminum as well and again you can see the juice here it's super duper clear I don't know what I was expecting it was funny it was like it was so clear I was taken aback initially I was like I don't know what I was expecting but geez I guess I'm used to these colored uh uh perfumes and this rose extra de parfum is the official name these are 100 mil all, all of them are 100 mil and I don't think I said that so the bottle is 100 mil let's look at these notes really quickly so Rose is as morning breaks, a fresh rose blooms in the Jardin de Bagatelle in Paris. Okay, the perfumer is Nicolas Bonneville. Okay, or Bonneville. Bonneville. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Okay, um, that is what's going on. The top notes red currant and lychee, heart notes, geranium bourbon, rose, and rose, base notes, cedar wood, and musk. This is such a beautiful light fragrance. I don't mean light in terms of performance. I mean, it just has a really airy lightness about it. And I felt that way about all five of the scents. Okay. That is, that is honest to God's truth. They just feel like this is to me. I started with Rose because of the time it came out. I knew the warm weather was coming and this just reminded me of spring and summer. It's light. There's a beautiful floral. There's that lychee, that tropical fruit uh, part of it. I think it wears really, really beautifully at this time of year. I love it on me. Hours later, it's still there. It's still lingering. And I'm just really happy with this one. Um, and I can't wait to get my next one. Okay. So that is a little bit about the new Extra de Parfum. This is Rose. And yeah, let's get on to these eyes. Okay. So here is Trench again. Now this was the one that was the driest that gave me some problems. Here's a swatch of Trench. Very pretty. I went with three pretty neutral colors because um, this reminded me of one of my favorite palettes from them, eyeshadow palettes, which I would wear when I just wanted a little something on my eye. Not too much perfect when I was flying. Um, just that's, I just wanted a little something and I felt like this would be uh, sort of in the same vein. And as we can see in the beauty industry, a lot of people are now turning to stick uh, eyeshadow. So take two, remember. Try these out already and you just never saw that video. Um, so let's see if this one that gave me problems does better. It swatches on my arm, on my hand, super creamy, okay? But for whatever reason, on my eyes, it felt really drying. It wouldn't budge. It's doing better here. Um, and I'm curious. And I didn't want it all over my eyes. That wasn't the point the first time. I just wanted to kind of lean in, make it lighter, this part of the eye. So, so far it's doing better than the first go round. The other thing it was doing, and I'm sort of seeing it here too, is it's adhering to my eyes, the skin on my eyes in a not nice way. Um, I'm gonna zoom in here anyway. This should, this should be in zoomed uh, mode so you can see it's adhering to my eyes. Now listen, guys. I mean, 99%, 95, 99% of the eyeshadows that I try on work for me. So that's across liquid, powder, different finishes, different creaminess points. So I don't have issues with eyeshadow. So when something gives me pause, that's like, huh, it's very, it's strange to me because this does not happen at often at all. So I'm, again, not loving how this color looks on me. It looks dry. Uh, it looks, and I don't want to change my routine to fit a, a new product. You know what I mean? Like if I'm doing it a certain way, eh, I don't really want to change my routine. So I'm not loving how this looks. Let me see how it looks on this eye when I use my finger to blend it out. It's going on creamy, interestingly enough. It's just creamier than the first time, but 
yeah, I'm just not, this color, I'm not jiving with it. I'm not, it's not, it feels, oh, I forgot to tell you, this is matte. This one is matte and I'm not, it's not working for me. It's not working for me. And I found that it dried down too pretty quickly and it became almost, it wouldn't budge. And I'm like, that's a problem when I'm trying to make something work. Yeah, I don't like how this color is, is appearing on me. Mm -mm. And I don't know if you can see it or appreciate it there. But yeah, to me, it's emphasizing things on my eyes. And that's just, I'm 45 years old. That's not what I want. I don't want things being emphasized. That's never the goal. Things that I don't want emphasized, emphasize. So that's not the goal here. And again, if eyeshadows were something that gave me problems in general or regularly, then I would be like, oh yeah, that's my skin and da 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 da. It's just not the case. So for me, this shade is probably a pass, okay? We're gonna pass on this shade for me. I'll see if I can try it maybe again if I'm doing something right after, if I'm going somewhere and it's like right after skincare and my face has a nice, I might turn to this and try this one and see, but yeah, it's a no for me right now. Here we have Caramel. Beautiful, beautiful sandy finish, a little bit of shimmer there. Something else I wanted to note, it feels like I had to work to just put that trench color on. My eye is sensitive, my skin is sensitive right now on both sides. So that's absolutely not anything I'm willing to, to, uh, to uh, do for makeup is stress my skin. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that and I'm gonna put this, this color here, here. Now these are the ones I tried with the face, my face oil in the morning after my face oil. Um, I tried these out and it was beautiful, 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 uh, blended beautifully, looked really good on, feeling it. It's doing the same thing here. This one is going on nicely, okay? This is going on really, really nicely. But they do dry down. It's very, very interesting. Feels dry to the touch now. Feels dry to the touch. It looks really good, and this one doesn't give me a problem. It doesn't have a pro I'm not having a problem with it like the other one. But it does dry down to a drying really quickly, and hmm, interesting. Not bad, we want, our, we want these to set, so that's not what I'm saying. But you know when something feels drying and it dries down. There's a, there's a difference. We should know the difference, right? So this one is pretty, little bit goes a long way. Let me put it on the other eye. And here we have Pecan. Beautiful, beautiful also on the hand swatches. Very, very creamy. What's interesting is you can see, you can see how dry Trench looks. It just looks dry, right? Even on my hands. So there was no way that that was not gonna transfer to the eye. So it's very, very interesting. Let's get this uh, Pecan chocolatey color on the eyes now.
Before I give you my thoughts on these sticks, the overall thoughts on these sticks and give you a comparison swatch with uh, another Victoria Beckham Beauty product, I just wanted to remind you that everything that I'm wearing on my face will always be in the description below. Like right now, I'm wearing a lot of clean beauty products. Um, I just put on my La Bouche Rouge mascara and I have different things going on that you might be interested in foundation shade, what blush I'm wearing, what the highlighter is, whatever it is, will always be in the description of the video, okay? So below. And there will be some affiliate links. I do appreciate it if you would use one of my links. If you're going to buy a product anyway that you um, see me wearing, I would appreciate if you use my links and then I will put that money back into doing more videos for you guys. So I just wanted to uh, mention that. Okay, so let's jump into it. The finished look looks beautiful and polished, okay? I'm not gonna take anything away from that. It looks beautiful and polished. I will, going forward, because now I have the products and I don't wanna just waste them, I will have to be mindful or put something super um, moisturizing. Now, I did put my primer on my lids right before I started it, hoping that would help. Not so much. It seems like a face oil is a better base for me for these. Um, First products I'm not like over the top in love with. Again, very polished uh, finished look. Looks very, very pretty. But that first one is way too much work to, to use like this on its own. And hmm, 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 hmm. The other ones are not stand out enough. It's pretty, but they're not stand out enough that I'm just over the moon with this. I don't know if they're gonna change up formulas. I don't know what other people are experiences experiencing so if you have these and you've experienced the same thing by all means please let me know in the comments below here's another thing i'm struggling with this is caramel in the middle this is this is something i wanted to talk about here is the bronze satin kajal liner and here's the olive satin kajal liner if you saw these three together i don't think that you would think anything of it these are probably three of the same products in different shades the finish is still that nice sheen. We've got a nice finish on there. Not so different. I'm struggling with that. I'm not understanding. No, first of all, nobody's gonna convince me that the Satin Kajal liner, the formula for these two products don't link up at some point. Perhaps the, the, the eyeshadows stay longer, but visually they look too similar to not have some sort of uh, uh, shared, formula, uh, ingredients, uh, uh, how they made it, okay, to get, I just, I don't believe that. And so I'm struggling thinking, what was the point of these products? I'm not sure. Their San Kajal liners are probably their most popular product. They are loved, okay? And the number one thing that I've seen and what I've experienced, uh, we love them because they're so easy to go on. They're so friendly for my maturing eyes for they're just easy to go on anybody who like me who is liner challenged they don't give you any problem they look good on so i'm like and you could always brush them on your lid or do something else and make it into an eyeshadow that was always an option it's still an option so i'm confused about the point of these sticks a little bit um the, the matte one, obviously, that's a different finish, so I, I get that. But to me right now, it just feels like different packaging. At the end, that's, that, that is my honest to God feeling. I looked at this immediately when I first saw this color. I said, but this looks like one of the Satin Kajal liners. And if I wear it as a liner, nobody would know the difference. And if I wear the liner as an eyeshadow, nobody would know the difference. So I don't get it. I'm not sure why these were released. While we're waiting on like foundations and concealers and other stuff going on that I'm sure they're working on and it's taking years and years. I get all that, but it just seems like, eh, I would have preferred a liquid eyeshadow from them. I think that would have been different enough from the liners that that would have been exciting. I think that's why I'm not particularly excited about this launch. Some of the colors are a little questionable, questionable to me too, but this feels like a product that already exists one that is loved and one that is perfect just how it is. So a liquid eyeshadow, I would have gone a different route, but here we are. Okay, so we're gonna end it with this La Bouche Rouge Le Balm Kelly, okay? This is a balm. I have their balm set for overnight. 
It's a, it's a scrub. It comes with a scrub and then you get the clear balm. Love it. Okay. And this one is just, I just wanted to try a balm this time and not a lipstick because I don't have any of their balms in color. So this is another reason I encourage you to sign up for people's newsletters. I don't care if you go off the list at some point. D brands give you really good deals. Okay. So I got this because if you bought a lip product or a case product, this, um, their blush sticks, their highlighter sticks, they all go in to fit their leather uh, cases. So if you bought any of their stick products, you got a brown leather case for free. Okay. So that's why I grabbed this because truthfully, this is much more expensive than the lip product. So it was a deal. All I had to do was pay for the lip product and I got this for free. So that was through their newsletter. Their newsletter will hook you up, okay? So just something to consider. If you're not aware of what their lip products are like, they come in paper packaging. Still trippy to see it uh, in red because uh, when they started it was white, so I had all the white ones in the beginning. So they come in a paper, very sturdy. You can keep your lipstick in here, no problem. But if you wanna kick it up a notch, you can buy one of their um, leather cases, okay? And super easy to put these in. This is what the bottom looks like of the refillable part, aluminum, okay? You just, doo -doo -doo. there, done, 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 done. Snaps into place, finish in two seconds, and there we go. So let me get this on the lips now. This feels so good on the lips. And I'm actually quite impressed with the amount of um, pigmentation that this you get from this. It feels so nourishing, so moisturizing, and it just, oh, lightweight, just feels good. Okay, a nice balm. I am so here for all the brands doing tinted balms. I don't want my lips to feel dry. You know what I mean? I'm currently going through a By Terry, um, the liquid rose. I got it as a sample. And I'm like, okay, so I'm not gonna go without that anymore. That is just like too good, too, too good. I use that one at night now um, as well. And oh, so good. So I'm here for the, the balms, all right? Very beautiful, nice for the finishing uh, look and we're done. Okay, so you got my thoughts in full on these eyeshadow sticks. You know what though? I don't remember how many years, three years in where we are with uh, Victoria Beckham Beauty. So from the first product to now, I like those odds. This is the first. This is the first launch that I'm not over the moon about. Um, and I've tried their skincare. I've tried all the products. I have something from each of the products. So I'm. I'm. I've tried them all, and this is the first one that disappointed me. So you can't win them all. You can't win them all, and so it's okay that I don't love it. I, they're not. It's not that they're not wearable. They're wearable. It may take a little bit more work, or I may have to change up something in my routine to make them truly shine which, okay, like I said, now that I have them, I will, but not my favorite in the world. And again, feels too close to a, a, a already bestseller product that they already have. So that's how I feel about that. I love my uh, Extrait de Parfum from uh, La Bouche Rouge. And then this balm, so good, so good. So it's over to you. Let me know what you think of how everything looks on me and let me know if you tried these Victoria Beckham Beauty sticks let me know how they wear on you. Let me know what your experience with them has been. If you have a, a favorite Le Bouche Rouge product, let me know that too. Have you tried any of the samples of the, um, the new Parfum? Have you bought a bottle? Let me know all that stuff. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. And if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, scent line beanies, scent line knit beanies, and all our other hair accessories, you can visit us at breezyt.com. For all our luxury lifestyle accessories, you can visit us at freebybreezyt.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye.